we're not communicating with the, with the genes. We're not telling the individual stem cells what to do. We're providing a very high level abstract uh, signal that that means it's an it's a it's actually an arbitrary symbol because that's how the cells interpret it. It means make an eye here. And then I want to show you I want to show you something interesting that happens here, which again uh, I think has has interesting uh, parallels to what happens in the in the brain. If we take a cross section through one of these eyes, what you'll see is that the the blue cells are the ones that we injected. But all this other stuff, we never touched it. Why are they participating? And so what actually is happening here is that the cells that we inject are recruiting their neighbor cells the way that other collective intelligences like ants and termites recruit their, their nest mates when they find something too heavy to lift. They recruit them to build this, uh, to build this eye. They, and we didn't teach them to do that. Of course, they already know how to do that. But here's, but here's something interesting that happens. If we, if we do this, we inject this, uh, this message and then we look in the early embryo, what you see is you see four or five nascent ectopic eye fields. These are the cells uh, th that, that got the message and are just starting to sort of flirt with the idea of making an eye. But when you let this embryo grow up, one of the things you'll notice is that almost always most of these resolve and don't actually become I, only some of them do. And that's because what's actually going on here is a battle of uh, patterns for the future. These cells, the ones we injected, are saying to their neighbors, you should be an eye with us, help us become an eye. But there's a cancer suppression mechanism at play here where the cells with, a, with abnormal neighbors, the first thing they do is try to tell them to normalize and be like them in terms of voltage. No, no, you shouldn't be an eye, you should be skin or gut or, or whatever it is like us. And what you have there is a battle of patterns of who is going to dominate the future. Which pattern? Are we really going to give in to this new message and become an eye, or are we going to stick with this uh, with with our priors and be a you know be a skin or gut? And so and so we can actually watch this happen. The voltage here before it encounters this whole mass is different than the rest, so it has a more depolarized voltage. But as soon as it touches, and this is all it takes, is a tiny little touch, it uh, feels the voltage of this cell. And that voltage takes over. The cell basically becomes hacked by the bioelectric information that is present in this collective. Here it is. Yeah, the, the colors are unfortunately inverted here, but you can see it's quite different than the rest. Bang, there it is. It touches the rest, and now it's got the same voltage, and now it merges with this collective. So what you're seeing here is a, uh, a very convincing uh, bioelectric state taking over this uh, subunit, which then joins a collective with a larger cognitive uh, light cone. This, this network has greater capacity to, um, to pursue morphogenetic goals than, than single cells do.